Several months ago, Sonia Mahmoud started suffering from stomach pains. Her doctor prescribed her some tablets. One packet costs just 83 cents and lasts two weeks. After paying the rent, the gas bill and water bill, it's affordable. It's within my budget. Sonia is among the majority of Bangladesh's 165 million people who only use medicines that have been manufactured inside the country. Over the past 20 years, generic drug production here has grown 30-fold. Bangladesh is allowed to copy drugs already on the market without having to pay costly fees to the patent holders. It's a concession given to the country by the World Trade Organization due to its least developed country status. Bangladesh now imports just 3% of the drugs it needs, far less than many other countries. Pakistan imports 30% of its medicines, Vietnam 60% and Singapore 80%. The industry has become one of the most advanced sectors in Bangladesh. As many as 600,000 tablets are produced in this factory every hour, using state-of-the-art equipment and highly trained staff. More than 500 types of medicine are now made in Bangladesh, including cancer drugs and insulin. And prices are much lower than the originals. Sofospovir, originally made by Gilead Sciences, is a drug used to treat hepatitis C. Each tablet costs $1,000, but the Bangladeshi version, Hopetavir, costs just $5. And a single anti-cancer tablet, Erlotinib, originally manufactured by Roche, costs $60. The Bangladeshi version, Erlo Kent, is three and a half dollars. And many more drugs are on their way. We have almost 70% uh, working in the research and development group. One for, one for formulation and the analytical. So every year uh, we have, uh, in, from Incepta, I would say more than 50 to 60 product, new products launching in a uh, local market. The industry accounts for a modest 3% of all exports. Revenues last year amounted to $125 million. But foreign sales are growing at a rate of 24% per year, despite competition from India and China. And a number of countries, including the UK, US and Turkey, have formally recognised Bangladesh's rigorous testing process. This is a popular anti-hypertension drug. It's been through the entire production process, but will be tested one last time before being exported to at least 15 countries, including the Maldives and Sri Lanka. The government has imposed price caps on all medicines, so ordinary people can afford them. The plan now is to capture 10% of the global generic drug market within the next seven years. A goal Bangladesh is well on the way to achieving. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World, Dhaka, Bangladesh. And Shamim's here in the studio with us again. Hello there, Shamim. So, Bangladesh has done well in the generic drugs industry because it's been exempt from having to pay patents to the people that produced, that, that invented them. But a lot of other countries also have the same exemptions. What's Bangladesh doing that some of these other countries are not doing right? Well, there are other factors that come into play as far as Bangladesh is concerned. One is that there's an a ban on the import of any foreign drugs, and that is to cut down competition uh, for local producers. So even if you wanted to, you couldn't buy the brand names um, in Bangladesh. So that's one thing. Secondly, there's a very large pool of potential workers who can help help produce medicines and unlike the case of, uh, of the garments industry it's not low skilled workers these are chemists pharmacists biotechnology graduates so you have a very strong uh, uh, professional pool base from which you can you know which you can have working inside these pharmacies to help produce these drugs and finally it's a massive market we're looking at more than 160 million people who all need medicine so when you have market demand you are going to get a supply mm. so it's numbers a, a, a number of factors have gone into right. you know the the position Bangladesh is in now as far as its pharmaceutical industry is right. concerned. Uh, that con those concessions run out in 2033 though what happens after that? Uh, this is something I put to some of the scientists at some of the uh, pharmacy companies that we went to. They're not too concerned because the export rate is growing by about 24% every single year. Uh, at the moment, it brings in about 3% uh, of the uh, overall revenues, but they expect that to grow much higher. But at the same time, that Bangladesh is also producing its own original drugs. There's a lot of uh, research and development going on in, in, as far as the uh, industry is concerned, and they're 
hoping that they may well be able to patent their own drugs in 15 years' time. The general feeling seems to be that it's quite some time away. It's a booming industry. Let's keep doing what we're doing, and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. Shami, I mean, one of the interesting things in your report that you pointed out there was that huge disparity in the prices of the drugs. And still, the makers of the generic drugs in Bangladesh are able to make a profit. Yes. Yes, they are. Uh, it could be a question of uh, piling them high, selling them cheap. Again, it's a huge population. Many people need drugs. If you sell something cheap yeah. to many people, you're still going to yeah. get a, a, a profit. Economies it, of scale. Economies of scale, but, exactly. But the interesting thing about that comparison is that the, the, the makers of the patented drugs, the, uh, the brand name drugs, are obviously making such a huge margin. There, yes, it's quite they? astonishing. It, it is, is astonishing, quite astonishing. And it? it does beg the question as to whether there should be right. perhaps some kind of caps on, on Fascinating on discussion. Uh, we've got more to come uh, in through the rest of the week. Tell us very quickly, Shamim, what we've got in from Bangladesh tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to look at the e-commerce business. More than 2,500 e-commerce businesses thriving across Bangladesh. It does have its challenges. There's not in, Only 50% of the country has internet mm -hmm. connection. Quite a lot of computer illiteracy right. as well. So we'll be looking at all those issues. Fantastic. Shamim Chowdhury, thank you.